Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon fish. All right, let's begin this lesson on how to draw this cartoon fish. Well, as you're gonna see, I'm gonna be working with my blue pencil once again, and I'm gonna be just lightly shading out the, um, the brief outline and the shape of the fish. As you can see, I did build up the body first, the back side of the fish, and now the two tails. Now I'm gonna be just working on his mouth, giving him two areas for his eyes. All right, his little cheek right there. Again, this is very light when I'm working intentionally, so if I wanna go a little darker, I can, and I don't need to really erase. This is just a sketch and building up some foundation. So when you're doing model sheets or characters or even basic drawing, uh, this is how uh, typical artists in the years that I grew up, over 37 years now as a, a full-time artist, working in studios and freelancing for other particular companies. This is how we were always worked and trained and taught by some of the masters in the industry. So what I wanted to share with you is the same technique that we learned and how they build uh, the characters too, from the, the classic Warner Brothers to the Disney and even all the comic books. They really worked off of the blue pencil and sketch very, 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 really loose. And then from there they went tighter. If you get this fundamental basic underneath your belt, you can sketch anything. And and from this, this is this is not gonna be the final one again. As you can see, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go even more detail that I can add it into uh, Photoshop or do traditional uh, pen and ink or even watercolors, which I'm gonna do with this one at another time. So as you can see here, I just continually just working on the outline and structure of the fish, adding the fins throughout the body and now the, the little ones on the bottom there and a little, little outline. I like a lot of the overlapping. So sometimes my lines will not connect. They'll overlap intentionally to give some more dimension. And once again, that's just classic. And this is my style that I'm working off of currently right now. It's your style and you create your own technique, but I would really uh, challenge you to try to learn how to sketch. A lot of kids don't know, or a lot of people are not using this. The computer is a tool. It's not an artist. You are the artist. Just remember that. All right, so I'm just adding the little backside, some more fins. Looking good. All right, I think I have the basic structure. Now, what you're gonna see me, I'm gonna come back with my HP pencil. And say, basically your number two. And this is a little soft. So when I'm when I'm um, outlining it again, I might change the shape. So just because I put the blue line there does not mean that that's where I might wanna create my final line. I could add or change it still in this step. As you can see, I'm gonna be rotating the paper a little bit more because it uh, makes it easier for me to sketch whichever way my arms and hands, the movement makes it a little bit more fluent. The mouth is open, there we go. A little slower for the tongue. And I always like to add a little shading or some darkness in certain areas to add more contrast. So as you can see, the mouth really stands out but I didn't scribble it and I'm going straight line, straight up and down, like one, two, three. I'll have another lesson explaining the different types of pencils that you have, uh, the different weights. As you just see right there, I had that highlight in that uh, eyeball. It wasn't there in the blue, but it is there now. And see how that just worked? That little one there as well on the other side. It's really easy that way. The blue just gives you the basic shape. And now I can come back and clean it up and add a little bit more. There we go, there we go, that looks good. Let's get the little cheek over there. Let's get the chin and work around the, the basic body. The little lip there, a little bit bigger now. There you go, okay, the underneath the little fish, there's a little belly. And as you see that overlapping action there once again. All right, and sometimes as a fence, I like to add some of those little indents, like little rips or whatever, to add a little bit more character to the fish. And there's the bottom again. Really simple. Get the sketching down. The other side there. Okay, now since that's on the far side, once again, I like to shade it in. Just to give a little depth to separate from one side of the fin to the other. Looks good. Let's get the top. 
There we go. A little curve with a, a different type of um, fin in the front there. Little, my signature style fins. And you can see when I'm taking my pencil, I'm going really quick. Sometimes I might get the action first before I lay it down. I kind of like invisibly roll my fingers over that particular area. And then if I like it, then I come back in that same sweeping mode with more pressure. Right, and there's the back part. That would be like if it was a tip of a darker color or maybe even like black on there. All right, so of course you do on one. It's nice to do on the other side too there. Again, let's just get that curve and just shade in. And as you notice, I'm always trying to shade in and went up in the same direction. I'm not going up and down left and right. Let's add some freckles on him there. Give some more character. That looking good. I like that, how that's coming out. Let's give it a little bottom texture. Some little seaweed quick. I'll rip out there. And another one over here. Another one in the front. Kind of overlapping action. Uh, try to separate that and bring it to life. And a couple of bubbles here and there. All different sizes. Again, overlapping. One small, one big. And make it like it's like kind of movement there. Let's add some corals underneath here. Again, as you notice, I did not have the blue pencil, so I'm just kind of like winging it in my imagination. It's in my mind's eye that I had this thought and went like, okay, and maybe go to go here and there. So these are just all quick. It's not as important as the fish. So if I make a mistake, it's no biggie for me, really. That's my little corals that I have there. All right, I think we're looking good. And as always, I say sign and date it at times. And thanks for checking out this video. And make sure you check out some of the other ones. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop me a comment. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Don't forget to stop at our website. That's jmg-studio.biz. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy our latest drawing book that's now available on our website, How to Draw 50 Cute Cartoons. So make sure you stop at our website, that's jmg-studio.biz. And thanks a lot.